So, you're just standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there, clicking their little lies away. Okay. That ominous tower belongs to the local waterworks. I wonder if they can pump water up that high. There's talk of a dozen people jumping off it. I guess you could call it popular. I could land that fall with my eyes closed. I just don't wanna. No thanks, I'll stick around for now. You know, I've never crossed that bridge. And I got there several times. Ever notice how philosophical bridges are? People come, people go. Ugh, friggin' thoughts, go away! Nah, I need her around. Used to be you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that... is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? Kitty has no use for that walled archway. Back then, door. Now, wall. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. It somehow looks old. It doesn't look like it'll snap me back to cathood, Buzz. Wouldn't know what to do with it. Christopher Valiant Street. Never heard of him. Tiny Print says his body was found headless on the street, so they named it after him. Charming story. Well, he can now quit while he's ahead. At least it brought things to a head. Christopher Valiant is an okay guy. They're happy. Man, that's one attractive dude. This picture of a male model? I feel like I need... I need to have it! Get it yourself, you can reach it. Just to be clear, I am not picking this up for personal use. If they're trying to keep people away from Fishmouth, it's working. I'd hate to have him do my taxes. I can climb that thing, no problem. I just don't have a reason to. Not only do I have no use for it, it has no reason to exist. Has a fish doll. I think it's that little girl's fish doll. Hey kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? 
How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How's that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, Kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. It's the door to the fishery. Fishmuth's own. There, now I'm that one guy in the theater reading the title out loud. That was as much interest as I could muster up about this shop sign. I can climb higher than that. Easy. Ugh. Never could stand fish. How people can eat that is beyond me. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. I see what you did there. We have bigger fish to fry. I see. It's closed and locked. Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Let's check out the tiny print. Apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portrait stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. Could have been worse. Not sure how exactly, but it could have. Here's to smoke in the void. Thanks for being a good dude, Void Smoker. That's Jeremiah Orne, Old Man Orne's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. Thanks for the post-generational job opportunity, Jerry. Well, it's, uh, the moon. Mm, that's pretty much it. Nah. Nah. They say the guy in charge is a real joker. I hear they've been having a bat problem over there. Nah. It's really weathered, but I think it says Park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. Kitty can't read. I'm learning real fast. Now, nah, we gotta keep the citizens informed. That's some ominous looking flora right there. No thanks, I just went recently. Nah, it's your chance to talk to a girl. It's a nice looking blonde lady. Yup, definitely a nice looking blonde lady. Hey there! Hello? Approaching the only women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. I'm sorry, miss, but I feel this strange urge to bother everyone I meet and ask a lot of questions. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I... I have a B-shaped birthmark. Nice uh, evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? Alright, what time you got? Time for you to... Actually, I don't have a watch. I have no idea. 
I thought you were going to let me have it. <sighs> it wasn't worth the effort. My mom warned me about mean girls like you. Not often enough, apparently. Gotta run. So run. Gotta run. So run. Aw, look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? On the other hand, who dare touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. I don't go for dolls. I'm more of a laser pointer girl myself. These dolls are probably already voodooified and best left where they are. What do you mean, Som D Who? Just Wikipedia, you slacker. They haven't been formally introduced. The Baron's not to be trifled with. People really love plastering eyes everywhere. Did you know that the mere graphical suggestion of an eye can unconsciously make you more apprehensive? It's not real, Buzz. Get a grip, buddy. Can't. Don't wanna. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? A warm reddish-orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Even she can't squeeze in through there. Um, hello there? Password? Password. Nice try, buddy. No idea who this guy is, but his beard looks real tentacly. Is that a nose or a beak? Man, Darkham City Council is all weird when it comes to statue choices. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. I want nothing to do with this guy, whoever he is or was. Big D Street. No idea who this guy is either. Alright, let's look at the tiny print. Absent-minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, they'll just name streets after anyone these days. Well, at least he was into video games. I'm sure this street sounds way naughtier than intended. <sighs> Thanks for supporting video games, Big D. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. There's a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. She's not leaving without me. Plus, we're both broke. Evening. It sure is. Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. You an investigator or something? Yep. B. Kerwin. P.I. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. So about the blonde girl. Yeah? What's she to you? Uh, 
I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. I'm, I'm having a t temporary memory lapse. I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Nice to meet you, Margot. So the gentleman wouldn't help you off your hubby, huh? Something about not doing any literal harm and using the forces for good to balance out recent events. Blah, blah, blah. Did you try marriage counseling? That's where I got this address. Okay. Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? I'm, uh, never mind. Can I ask? Oh, I'm perfectly con- Out. Yeah, but what better way of re- I'm- Say. I happen to be in anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so... I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. Oh, you'd know if I did that. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm an undercover cop. Put him up. Yeah, right. Let me see your badge, officer. I left it in my investigating pants. Uh, we've got different pairs for different assignments, you know. Return in those pants and you're free to arrest me. Cleaners said they'll only be done by Tuesday. They got badge shining services too. I walked right into that one. I'm a... Got... So... Got so So about the blonde girl. Yeah, what she to you? I'm a friend. I'm a little worried about her, so I watch her from afar. Oh, friend. Right. I happen to have overheard what her name is. You know, taxi stuff, nothing creepy. Surely you know it too, since you're friends. Sure, it's my friend Margot. Huh, guess you weren't lying. 
Well, might as well tell you. She dropped something on the back seat when she left, but uh, she was out of sight by the time I noticed. She's literally around the corner. Oh yeah? How'd you feel about returning this to her? Looks like a letter. It might be important. You can't get out of the car, take a few steps in that direction and return it yourself? This is a business, kid. I might lose a customer. Yeah, sure. Let me have it. Good man. Say, you won't open it, will you? Do I look like the kind of fella who'd pry into the opposite sex's correspondence? I wouldn't know what that kind of fella looks like, thank God. Here you go, 